Hi Leo, this is Power and Light Tarot. Thanks for coming to my channel today. I'm here to bring you your reading for the month of November 2018. This is going to be your love reading and this is what are their true intentions in love. And please check your moon and your rising. You can get your chart over at cafeastrology.com. I hope you guys are doing well. And um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, really appreciating it, and um, yeah, and also comment. I like to read those comments, and anyway, let's get started here. So I'm going to pull a couple of oracle cards here, and um, from the Romance Angels, and I'm going to be going over to Vimeo uh, a little later on in the reading when we are done here with the first half, and we're going to be discussing what they may be hiding or the unknown, what they may be fearing or their hopes and fears, the potential for the relationship, and the outcome or their true intentions, okay? So let's get some cards here. What does Leo need to know in love in the month of November, please? Please show us what Leo needs to know in love in November. Deception. Ooh, okay. So um, let's get another card. Someone is wearing a false mask. In this relationship. Okay, so take a look at this. These kind of an interesting card here. They look like they are. Uh, I'm not really sure in Japan. I'm not really sure here, but let's get another card here. What does Leo need to know and love here in November? Please show us what Leo should know in November, please, in love. And we have honeymoon. Okay, well, this is interesting, right? These are two conflicting cards. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Okay, well, you could be, you know, committing to somebody uh, who is deceptive here. <laughs> okay, so the bottom of the deck, Leo, was the Two of Pentacles and the Hanged Man. So, you know, here we have the Two of Pentacles. And, um, you know, the Two of Pentacles is all about somebody who is juggling they could be juggling a decision. They could be juggling uh, two people, two lifestyles. They could be juggling just about anything. Um, they could also be just trying to balance a situation, okay? Um, this guy's definitely trying to balance something. He, he has this uh, very uh, stormy sea in the background, all right? So he's trying to hold up these two pentacles. I guess he thinks they're going to, you know, roll over into the ocean. Okay, so the... Your energy, uh, Leo, is the Nine of Cups here. The Two of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Two of Swords is how you are seeing uh, whoever you're dealing with. The Knight of, the King of Cups, I'm sorry, is their current energy. It's showing up in the reverse. The Page of Wands is their past energy. That is also in the reverse. And the Eight of Wands is how they are viewing you. The situation is the Queen of Swords, and the obstacle or the challenge here is the Ten of Swords. So let's get started here, uh, Leo. So your current energy is the Nine of Cups. It's showing up with the Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, this is uh, indicating that you, you know, your wish is to be single, is, is to be single really badly, though, okay? The Nine of Pentacles in the reverse is two things. It is either you don't want to be single or you really want to be single very badly, okay? For me, this is you want to be single very badly, okay? So let's go on here. Um, let's go on here with the reading. And the Two of Swords is how you're viewing this person who you're dealing with, Leo. Showing up with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. Now... You're seeing them as blocked or at a stalemate. They can't make up their mind. They can't make a decision. Um, and they can't come out of that. They feel like they can't come out of that type of energy. Showing up with the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. You're seeing them as either blocked or stuck at a stalemate. And not actually, you know, uh, having good luck here. Not having favorable, you know, they feel stuck. They don't feel like things are going their way. They don't have any good luck. Um, and you could also be seeing them as wanting to, needing to make a decision here 
um, in order to turn the wheel in their favor. They may not uh, know how to do this, okay? So the King of Cups in the reverse is their current energy with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. They are, right now, I would think that they are totally, they could be depressed, they could be uh, completely manipulative, a liar, they could be a drunk, they could be um, simply, you know, they could be drinking too much, like I said, a drunk. They could be just in a bad way emotionally, okay? Showing up with the Knight of Swords in the reverse, I feel like they're totally reckless. Um, they're completely irresponsible. They are probably drinking too much. They could be a player. They are a schemer and possibly a drunk here, okay? And um, they may want to rush in with some communication here, but they could just be, you know, in this... King of Cups in the reverse energy and, you know, here, this is more manipulation. This is more somebody who is really, uh, you know, somebody who speaks really harsh words and they are completely reckless and they don't give a damn who they hurt um, when they speak, okay? So their past energy is the Page of Wands and the Three of Swords. So they have either put you in a third party or um, you may have put them in a third party, Leo. Um, but here the Page of Wands is in the past. You know, I mean, the Page of Wands in the reverse with the Three of Swords. So this is their past energy. They were resisting change. Um, they may have wanted to hold on to a third party here. This is heartbreak. It's usually a third party, this, uh, the Three of Swords. We do have the, the Three of Cups coming up with the Ten of Swords in your reading. So there is betrayal here. There's heartbreak and their past, um, you know, their past energy. Maybe they weren't able to move on from some type of betrayal here. Uh, whether or not they caused it or not, but the Page of Wands is somebody who is ir who is resistant to change, has no direction. Um, they could just be stuck in some type of a reckless type of behavior that is, you know, bringing them bad luck here. We have the, you're seeing them as the Wheel of Fortune in the reverse, okay? And you're also seeing them as very stuck at a stalemate. They're showing up over here as, you know, a manipulator, a schemer, uh, possibly a player, somebody who drinks too much, and somebody who may be a real uh, punk with the way they communicate and come towards you. So the Eight of Wands is here with the uh, King of Swords in the reverse. They are seeing you as possibly um, having so many, very, a lot of opportunities possibly um, or going through changes, they could also be seeing you as rushing in, bringing them information here, fast news, um, and they, they're seeing you as not delivering it so well. The King of Swords in the reverse is somebody who can be manipulative as well. Um, you know, they can be a liar, uh, and they can be weak as well. They can be, they are cold too, they're very cold, the King of Swords in the reverse. So this is how they are viewing you. Um, you could be cold, possibly, from this Three of Swords energy, okay? That is their past energy. So, the situation here is the Queen of Swords, and Leo, you could be dealing with an air sign. We have a lot of swords in your reading here. We have swords, 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 and we have swords again. The situation here is the, you know... The Queen of Swords here, somebody could be demanding a truth here, uh, demanding honesty about a third party situation. And also within the situation, somebody could be cutting this third party out or attempting to do so. All right? The Queen of Swords is not playing any games. She does not, she cuts out what does not serve her in her life. Okay? She's no emotional twit and she's not going to put up with shit. And this is what she's trying to do, okay? Somebody here is trying to cut this out, all right? And they're demanding the truth about it as well. So here, the next position, this is the challenge or the obstacle. 
You know, there's betrayal here with the Ten of Swords, more swords energy. There's, there are swords in every placement except for um, your energy, Leo, okay? So I feel like you may be dealing with, um, with an air sign. And remember that we have deception in the Romance Angel card here. So, you know, there's betrayal here, there is backstabbing, there's, third, there's a third party here. Um, there's a lot of lying here, manipulation with the King of Swords and the Knight of uh, the King of Swords in the reverse. Um, there's manipulation, there's lying, and there's heartbreak. So the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles are the obstacle here, or is the obstacle. You know, somebody has betrayed a family. They have betrayed... Um, they have betrayed uh, possible, you know, stability, maybe a situation where there was so much stability. Uh, there could have been a lot of love and wealth, both love and money, um, a very stable situation. But somebody has, uh, the obstacle here is to possibly overcome this Ten of Swords uh, horrible, ugly energy, right? It's betrayal, it's backstabbing. And it's over, but you know this is is a completion, as is the Ten of Pentacles here. But um, you know that is the obstacle to overcome this betrayal um, and this heartbreak. And we're going to be going into more in the uh, Vimeo reading, uh, Leo. We're going to be talking about what they may be hiding or the unknown, what they may be fearing, their hopes and fears, the potential for this relationship. And also, um, we're going to be discussing their true intentions in love. And the interesting thing here is, you know, these Romance Angel cards here, the Deception is one card, and the other card is Honeymoon, Enjoy the Bliss of Holiday Time Together. So, uh, we're going to find out a lot more here um, in the, you know, over in the Extended on Vimeo. And I hope you'll join me there. And um, please give a like, a share, and subscribe. Also, send me some comments, guys, all right? See you on Vimeo.